Good day everyone, we are the second reporter, Amarga Ronalyn and Anya Christine Antoinette. Lesson 2, Evidences of Science and Technology During Ancient Time. As you can see, we have a word bank here that we will going to discuss. First civilization emerged of one another along fertile river valleys in Mesopotamia. Tigris Euphrates, Egypt Nile, China, Wuhung Valley, and India. It says that the first civilization people lives in the Mesopotamia is the Egyptian, Chinese, and Indian. People of each civilization develop a unique way of life, religion, form of government in Egypt, China, and India, language, and system of writing, arts and craft. Next, is the advance of science and technology, astronomy, agriculture, medicine, mathematics, engineering, and architecture. They also grew plants and domesticated animals and settled down in places. Sumerian Civilization, Sumer, Mesopotamia, Iraq It is cradle of the world's earliest known civilization and was the first established in the region in about 3600 BC. It also known as the first cities in the world. It transformed families into tribes that occupied territories which soon became cities and later were called the states. Mesopotamia is an exceedingly fertile plain situated between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers. For five millennia, this small strip of land situated in what is today Iraq, Kuwait, and Syria fostered innovation that would change the world forever. Science and Technology Development A. Cuneiform is the first writing system. It is a set of words depicted in symbols made of triangular marks around 3100 BC. Pictograms or drawings representing actual things were the basis of cuneiform writing. B. Sumerian clay tablet contains the Sumerian historical information and culture. It began as record keeping for the trade and evolved into the use of symbols for writing down laws and stories. C. The concept of the wheel actually grew out of a mechanical device that the Sumerians had invented shortly after 3500 BC, the potter's wheel. This was a heavy flat disc made of hardened clay. It was spun horizontally on an axis to allow the potter to form evenly. The Sumerians simply turned this clay splattered wheel on its end and hooked it to a wagon to make a wheel as a means of practical method for moving heavy objects from one location to another. The sailboat was also first invented by ancient Mesopotamia. 5,000 years ago, Mesopotamians started using sailing boat. Since Mesopotamia was situated between two famous rivers, namely the Euphrates and the Tigris, they needed water transportation for travel and trade. E. The Sumerians were among the first astronomers mapping the movement of stars, planets, and moon into sets of constellations, many of which survived in the Sojak and were also recognized by the ancient Greeks. 
F, Sumerians were also recognized for building the foundations of logic, mathematics, engineering, architecture, agriculture, transportation, and medicine. G. Sexagesimal system of counting in units of 60 which served as the basis of 360-degree circle and the 60-minute hour. H. Develop systematized technique of farming, seed flow, and irrigation. I. Wool from sheep made into textile, master the arts of leaching and dyeing. Second, Babylonian Civilization Babylonian was the ancient region bordering the Tigris and Euphrates River. Babylon is the capital and served as commercial and religious center in the Tigris-Euphrates Valley. Technology and Development A. Hammurabi, 1792-1750 BC The first leader of the Old Babylonian Empire promulgated the famous law code that served as rule and standards which helped maintain a period of stability in this region as well as the establishment of science and technology. With King Hammurabi's ascension to the throne of Babylon, the city became even more important. Hammurabi was the sixth king of the Amorite dynasty, and under his reign, Babylon was strengthened, dominating territories that previously belonged to the Sumerian and Akkadian empires. Hammurabi conquered the major cities of Mesopotamia, including the cities of Ashur and Nineveh, thus creating the first Babylonian empire, called the Paleo-Babylonian Empire. He also created the famous Hammurabi Code, which was a set of laws and how to apply the equivalent punishment to the crimes committed. That code followed the principle of the Law of Talion, the famous eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. In the military area, the Babylonians perfected the Akkadian equipment with armor and helmets better adapted and adjusted to the soldiers' bodies. Hammurabi's empire lasted a short time, collapsing soon after his death in 1750 BC. B. Nebuchadnezzar was the Neo-Babylonian emperor who ordered the construction of famous Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the world, and the Easter Gate. C. Contributed to the development of science and technology such as irrigation system of canals flanked by the earthen dikes, system of bookkeeping, double entry accounting, multiplication, and division tables, and calculations using geometry. D. Adapted the Sumerian sexagesimal system of counting in units of 60, made accurate predictions of solar and lunar eclipses and other astronomical phenomena. Third is Egyptian civilization. Ancient Egypt depended on the water of the River Nile, which flows through harsh and arid desert. The Nile River gave life to the civilization of Egypt. The early settlers were animal hunters. They were nomadic, later changed their lifestyle to be farmland settlers. Agriculture was supported mainly by extensive irrigation systems. 
The ancient Egyptians learned to heat meat and make weapons and utensils. They are also the first people learned how to make glass. Heat sand and very hot furnace and then blow the molten sand into glass. They also made glass jars and glass beads. Egyptians writing wrote with ink and brushes on paper made of papyrus reeds. The writing was in the form of pictorial symbols known as hieroglyphics. Their knowledge of human anatomy, physiology, surgery, and medical plants enabled them to master the art and science of embalming their dead. During the Egyptian, they created the calendar based on the face of the moon, consisting of 29 and one half days. They divided the day into 12 hours. They also focuses on the appearance and disappearance of star Sirius, the brightest on their horizon, which coincides with the annual rise and fall of the Nile River. It also helped them to forecast the seasons and predict the annual flooding of the Nile River. Ancient Egyptians also engaged in pottery such as pots, jars, cups, and bowls. They also built houses made of sun-dried mud brick. Pyramids still stand today as the monumental evidence of the scientific expertise and technical skills of the ancient Egyptians in geometry, engineering, architecture, and labor management. Iconic monuments such as Giza Necropolis and its Great Sphinx, as well as the ruins of Memphis and the Valley of the Kings reflect the legacy and remain a significant focus of archaeological study. The Giza Necropolis is the oldest of the ancient wonders and the only one is still in existence. The Egyptians also engaged in shipbuilding, construction of canals, dikes and ditches with outlet system, planted wheat, barley, food was broiled, baked, stewed, fried, grilled or roasted. They bred ducks, geese, pigs, goats, cattle, and sheep, manufactured soaps, creams, oils, perfumes, and eye makeups. The fort is Kuitan Minoan Civilization. Its location arose on island of Crete and other Asian island. It was rediscovered at the beginning of 20th century through the work of the British archaeologist Arthur Evans. Will Durant referred to it as the first link in the European chain. It was an Asian Bronze Age civilization ruled by King Menus. Knossos was the capital of Crete. Crete is a mountainous island with natural harbors located midway between Turkey, Egypt, and Greece. Science and Technology Development Their culture shows a high degree organization. Many historians and archaeologists believe that the Minoans were evolved in the Bronze Ages and Portantine tree. Tin alloyed with copper apparently was from Cyprus. Crete became the central exporter of wine, oil, jewelry, and helicopter works. In return, they became importers of raw materials and food. They also built the first navy ship in the world. But its purpose is for trade and not for wars. The Minoan cities were connected with the stone paved roads formed with blocks cut with bronze soap. The streets were with good drainage and water and sewer facilities were available to the upper class through the clay pipes. Their houses built from sandstones, gypsum, or limestones. The Minoan raised cattle, sheep, and goats and grew wheat, barley, lettuce, celery, asparagus, carrots, peas, grapes, pears, figs, olive, and poppies for poppy seeds and perhaps opium. They also domesticate bees. They also develop Mediterranean polyculture. Around 1600 BC, 
a crowdly was shaken by a violent earthquake. The Terran eruption was one of the largest in human history, blasting more than 10 million tons of ash, gas, and rocks 25 miles into the atmosphere. Fifty years later, the civilization was wiped out. Earthquake and fires destroyed Snossos and the other palaces and the towns were deserted. Do you know, clay tablets were used as a writing medium, especially for writing a cuneiform. Cuneiform characters were imprinted on a wet clay tablet with a stylus often made of red pen. The Sumerian used a wooden stylus to place simple shapes and lines into the moist clay, which were then baked until hard. This form of writing became known as cuneiform because of the weight shape marking made in the clay. The Sumerian had enormous libraries containing their laws, business transactions, and literature. Habalas is a tall, four-sided, narrow and toppling monument which ends in a pyramid-like shape at the top. These were originally called Tekami by the builders of ancient Egyptians. The sundial or shadow clock was used by the Egyptian around 1000 to 1500 BC. This instrument will tell time by the means of the shadow casted by the object as reflected by the sun. The gnomon is the shadow producing device, usually a metal plate set parallel to the earth's axis and pointing towards the celestial pole.